Blender just added light linking and shadow linking to Eevee in Blender 4.3 a feature that I've been wanting for a while. But is this feature enough to pull me away from Unreal Engine? Let's find out. As I've been developing some short films of mine, I've constantly gone back and forth between Unreal Engine and Blender to light and render my films. I've done a bunch of different style tests and exploration tests to figure out which one is better for me. Ultimately, I always ended up on Unreal Engine, mainly because of their light channel system. I can put a character and a certain light on the lighting channel to have it only affect that character. And it really helps me customize what I'm doing. And in Eevee, it never had that until now. Currently light and shadow linking are only available in the Blender 4.3 beta, but Blender 4.3 is set to officially release on November 12th, which is pretty soon. It allows you to take a specific light in your scene and have it only affect the object that you want it to. If you want a certain light to only affect your character, you could do that. If you want a certain light to only affect the environment around and not your character, you can also do that. And if you want a light to only cast a shadow from a specific object, you can do that too. See, lighting a scene doesn't just mean having the lights affect everything around it, but sometimes we need to push lighting in unrealistic ways to help convey the emotion and story that we want. It helps add a subtext to our scene and allows the audience to feel and empathize more. If we want to add this layered complexity into the emotions and feelings of our film, sometimes we have to break realism in order to achieve that. That's why this feature is such a game changer in Eevee. With all of Blender's non-photorealistic capabilities combined with their compositing tab and the recently added ray tracing to Eevee, Blender just improved tenfold in my opinion. Not to mention, Blender is 100% free and open source, which basically means a lot of cool people around the world are making some really cool stuff to add to it. Which begs the question, does it dethrone Unreal? In my opinion, yeah, yeah, it does. Blender doesn't seemingly have the restrictions that it once had. I can confidently say I'll be using Blender a whole lot more in my future projects. But let's get into it. Let me show you how easy it is to implement this new feature. Come on. Okay, so I have a test scene here and let's add a point light into our scene. You can see here it's illuminating everything and to make it really obvious, let's make it a really bright yellow light. So to adjust the light linking, you're gonna select your light, go over to object, and in the shading tab, we're gonna open that up. So that reveals light linking and shadow linking. Now there's two ways to go about attaching things. You can hit new, and that's gonna create a new uh, collection for the light linking here. And you can just select whatever object you want. So say I wanted the, the body, I can click and drag and drag it in and it'll only illuminate that single object. And you can add multiple. Again, you need to have the light selected, but if I wanted to put the hair in, you can drag and you can add the hair in and now that's affected. Now, this might work if you have only a single object that you're looking to add to a collection. But if I'm just gonna X that out, I have a whole entire character and the way that you could do that, you can just go back to the point light, light linking, you can actually click down and it'll show all the collections that you have. So if you see here, Prince Rig version two, that's a whole collection of just my character. So I can just hit here, go to Prince Rig two, and now everything in that collection will be affected. And then I can just move that point light to whatever I need in the shot. There we go. And then you can just do dial it in, whatever you need. So I want to show you one more process in setting up this light linking. That's going to include the shadow linking itself. Sometimes the way that I like to light, if I'm needing a rim light on the side of my character, I will use a sun or a directional light to do that. So let's get rid of our point light. I actually have a sunlight already here, so I'm just going to turn it on. But you see here, the sunlight, even though it's in the scene, it's only illuminating the side here and there's no way for the light to get in. If I rotated it here, it would go down, but that's not where I want the light to be. I want the light to be on the screen left side. So let me undo that. And if I go to the object tab and light linking, 
I'm gonna select my Prince Rig collection. But you see, nothing happens. Even though it just worked with the point light, the sunlight isn't working. And the reason for that is because it's still looking at shadows as it's going through. So one way that we can get around that is the shadow linking. The shadow linking, we're gonna select the same collection, Prince Rig version two. And that's gonna allow us, you see here, you just turn it off, put it back on. You see now the light is actually showing up. The way that this works is again, the shadow linking is saying only this character or this collection of objects, that's the only thing that's actually gonna cast a shadow. So now we can go and I can move this, I could dial it in however I need, change the color if I wanted to, if I wanted it blue or if I wanted to keep it a nice warm kind of color. Maybe get just a real specific rim light. And now if I scrub, that light is here the whole entire time. One of the reasons that I like to use a sun or directional light for this is I want that rim to stay on there the whole entire time in the shot. Because my character is running, if I had a spotlight or a point light to be that rim, he's gonna run out of that light pretty quickly. I could try to counter animate the point light so it's always on the side of him, but that would be a little time consuming and I find it just a little bit easier with the sun or directional light. And just a last minute thing, if you don't wanna do the drop down and click the selection, say you have a couple of collections that you wanna do, that you wanna to add to it, you can close that out and when you have the light selected, similar to how we dragged and dropped the object itself, you could do the same with a collection. So if I hit new and I click and drag that collection, now I can add multiple collections if I so choose. Please let me know what you think in the comments about this new feature. Is it something that you're gonna be using in your projects? Do you use it heavily? Let me know. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.